Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, it's going to be a more requested tutorial and that is how to make a collapsible script or collapsible UI element. With this simple collapsing script, we're going to click a collapse button and collapse an entire group full of text and you can basically use this to collapse any number of elements based on size or an entire group or panel holding them together. So it's going to be a super simple script and we're going to be using a little bit of math to basically change the size of this and do some other cool things. Before we get started, just want to remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can also download the code for this in the GitHub link and also down there, follow us on Instagram for live updates of when videos come out. Also a reminder to follow us on the Discord server and learn more about scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and products you've worked on. And lastly, if you want to help support the channel and get cool perks and educational materials at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, VIP, and get lots of cool things like monthly live streams, voting on tutorials, and other cool perks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create this collapsible UI element script. I'm going to create a new JavaScript file and just zoom in a little bit. And we're going to start with a new window, just a nice fresh window. And it's going to be type palettes. And we're just going to call this uh, collapse, undefined size. And then we're going to set the orientation of this to column because we're going to be making some uh, groups inside of this and they're going to want to go from top to bottom. So then we'll create group one. And this is going to contain actually everything in our little simple script. It's going to contain the collapse button as well as the little bits of text that are going to be shown or hidden. And we're actually going to create one group for everything, our collapse button, and then the bits of text and stuff below that get hidden or shown. So I'll say group one is equal to our window. We're going to add a group, undefined size, and we're also going to call it group one. We'll set the orientation of group one to be the same as the window, so column. And then the first thing we're gonna add is our collapse button. So we'll say if our collapse button is equal to our group one, we're gonna add a button, undefined size, and we'll call it collapse. Then let's create two pieces of text. We'll just say text one is equal to group one. We'll add some static text, undefined size, and we'll just call it text one. And you could even make a couple more of these. Let's make like four. And these will be the information in our group that's gonna be shown, and then we'll also be able to hide it as well. So just updating these variable names so that they're unique. And lastly, let's go ahead and show our window. So I'll take my window and center it, and then window.show. So now we have our UI. All that's left to do is program this button. Whenever we click on it, we need to basically make everything disappear. And then we click on it again, make it reappear. So I'm gonna create a global variable called collapsed. And this is gonna be a bool. We'll start it at say false. And this is gonna represent whether everything is hidden and collapsed or everything's expanded and visible. And we're gonna be changing this as we click on the button and use that to do either a size growth or a size reduction. I'm actually going to move it up here, and then we're going to create uh, an on-click for our collapse button. So when we click on it, we need to do something. We'll do this function or whatever text we put inside of here. And we need to first check if our collapse bool uh, is true or not. So if we just say is collapsed, uh, if it's true, that's going to return this bit of code. If it's not true or if it's false, then it's going to go into here. And what we're going to want to do is change the size of two things, our group and our window. First, we can change the size of our group, which will shrink it down, but our window is going to stay the same length and be a lot longer. So we need to first change the group length and then the window. And how do we know what size to change it? Let's go ahead and after we show our script, we're going to grab our window.size, get that information. We're also going to grab group one dot size and get that information. And these are going to tell us basically the values we need to work with in order to collapse it properly. So when it's fully expanded, our whole window is 153 pixels tall. And when it's fully expanded, our group is uh, 123 pixels tall. So those are the amounts we need to work with and subtract or add. So if it is collapsed, we're going to want to expand it. First, we'll expand group one. And we'll set the size of group one to be our value here, which is about 80 by 123. And then for our window, we're going to set that back to the original size at 110 by 153. Make sure that's our window. 
And then we also need to change the value of collapsed because first it was collapsed, now it's expanded. So collapsed is now false. And then we wanna do the opposite in our other situation. We wanna reduce the size. So let's just copy and paste this code, change that to true. And instead of, and instead of using these values, we need to make them a lot smaller. So group one, we don't wanna make zero pixels. We still have this collapse button in it. So let's subtract about 25 pixels. We'll make it 95. And then same with this, if we collapse it, but we don't want these values to be the same. These are the expanded values. We wanna make this just enough so our collapse button is visible. So the height should probably be about 30 pixels. And for our whole window, let's just make it like 50. Now if we run it, let's hit our collapse button. You can see, I might have gotten a good guess, but it collapsed very nicely. If I hit it again, it's going to collapse back and back and forth. So those values were actually really a good guess and very accurate. So you can see that's how easy it is to make it. You just need to get the values of the size of your expanded windows or expanded groups and then subtract pretty much most of those values. Like I said, you wanna keep a little bit of room if you have the collapse button in that group, but that's how you create a collapsible UI element. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can download the code for this and try it out yourself and modify it. And also down there, you can follow us on Instagram for live updates on when videos come out. Be sure to join the Discord server as well, where we have lots of good discussions and talks. And if you want to help support the channel and get some cool perks at the same time, remember to become a member, supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.